Hello friends, welcome. This is Arun Kumar and this is our channel Chemistry Crafters with Bono. Today we are going to formulate floor cleaner with chlorosilinol disinfectant. In case of hospitals, x-ray scan center, clinics, here floor cleaners with disinfectants are essential. We cannot use normal floor cleaners. Apart from that, in all the public places like school colleges, shopping complexes, commercial complexes, theater, auditorium, everywhere we can use this floor cleaner in two-in-one purpose. I mean as mobbing purpose in corridors and also sanitation purpose in bathrooms and toilets. Let us get into the making video. Today our batch size will be 1 liter. I have taken all the materials to prepare 1 liter of disinfectant floor cleaner. Let us start the process. This is 2 liter capacity plastic mug. This is sufficient for me to prepare 1 liter. First I am charging 850 ml of RO water. Then I am charging 70 ml of a P G that is alkyl polyglucoside. This is natural surfactant with very good cleaning properties and also it is non-ionic surfactant. Then blending properly it is essential. This is 80 ml of CAPB, cocoa, amido, propyl, betaine. CAPB is a amphoteric surfactant with good cleaning properties and also it is economy. And one more thing, it is also one of the natural derivatives. Next, I am adding 8 ml of Alphax 200. This is not compulsory material, optional only. The reason why I am adding this material is since we are preparing floor cleaner, so one wetting agent is preferable. So I am considering Alphox 200 as wetting agent to play the role of wetting agent. So otherwise there is no much role for Alphox 200 in this composition. We can leave it. This is 20 ml of chlorozylinol. This is the important key material in this formulation. This is very good disinfectant. Chlorozylinol is effective disinfectant and also safe. Here we will discuss one thing. We can use hydrogen peroxide also as disinfectant, but it is not effective disinfectant when comparing with chlorosilinol. And we can use sodium hypochloride also as effective disinfectant. But sodium hypochloride is not that much of safe when comparing with chlorosilinol. So chlorosilinol is a optimum choice. In this formulation, I am adding 20 ml of chlorosilinol. This quantity is variable, depends upon the place where we are going to use. This floor cleaner is intended to use for my domestic usage. So I am adding 20 ml. Suppose for commercial purposes or otherwise for hospitals, clinics or x-ray scan center, you can increase the quantity of chlorosilinol. Either you can add 30 ml or 40 ml or maximum 48 ml you can add. The limit 48 ml was given by World Health Organization. In detail also, chlorosilinol is key material. They have used only 48 ml in 1 liter of the detail. Each and every addition I am mixing properly. This is essential. Then I am adding 10 ml of BKC, benzyl conium chloride. This is a cationic surfactant and also a disinfectant. In this formulation, we have to avoid addition of perfumes and color. The reason is chlorosilinol is already having some smell. It will release some vapors. So 
that smell will interact with perfumes so it is not advisable and also there is possibility for layer separation and color also deficient because already this composition will give some color so that is sufficient then what about preservatives technically speaking it is not essential but for commercial point of view better add preservatives here i am adding 2 ml of vinoxy ethanol as preservative now the process is over we will allow to settle for 24 hours tomorrow we will observe it Twenty four hours over. It is homogeneous. Now I will transfer the material into the glass beaker so that we can see the consistency. This is the consistency of the floor cleaner. Now we will check the pH. The pH is seven. Correct for this composition. The pH will be seven only. No need to alter it. if you follow the formula correctly and one more thing addition of extra chlorosilanol also will not affect the ph because the ph of chlorosilanol also closely 7 this is concentrated form we need to dilute it before mopping purpose 50 ml in 2 liters will give correct dilution for a normal usage but it is not the ultimate guideline depends upon the area surface area of the floor and the extent of the dirt we can choose it at the time of mopping we can either increase or decrease it those who want to use this formula for business purpose kindly do a trial batch check its quality and other cleaning properties and also get feedback from others Uh, observe the shelf life and the stability for at least one month if you are completely satisfied then you can use it for business purpose